Let's check out a video of how to move a car. Allowing a two-ton car to fly at the same time is a huge challenge. You may not know, but this car is actually much bigger than the G9, and it only takes two passengers. However, sending two people of less than 200 kilograms into the sky has already been pretty exhausting for us. First of all, the flying car needs to be very light, but the range has to be as long as possible, so the battery needs to be powerful enough to last hundreds of kilometers. Unfortunately, it's only able to fly maybe a few dozens kilometers. But we believe it will be the world's first flying car that can drive and fly at the same time that are fully electric and intelligent. Some of the challenges that we face right now include the difficulty of flying a car that weighs nearly two tons. The difficulty level is over a hundred times more than flying a drone that weighs hundreds of grams because of the high power requirements. The entire rotor diameter of the flight control is nearly 3.5 meters. The inertia is so huge for the rotation, how do we solve that? How do we tackle the NVH level inside and outside of the car? And how to let everyone enjoy the experience of flying in the air as well as driving? We were really excited when we saw it at the scene, because we used to fly the machine that weighs hundreds of kilograms. None of them were more than one ton. However, next year we are expected to actually drive and fly an engineering test vehicle. These are the great challenges that we experienced for the past year. 这个的挑战是我们在过去的